we are going to look at how to create a custom channel in multi-channel funnels. So first, you gotta go to conversions and open up multi-channel funnels, and you can see the five different reports that are in there. But custom channels can only be created in either the assisted conversions or top conversions path reports. So if we click into assisted conversions, you can see all the information for your assisted versus last interaction conversions. And if you scroll down, you can see the basic channel groupings, which are automatically in your account that AdWords has set up. So we have direct referral, organic, paid, social, and the assisted and last interaction conversions for each. But what if you want to look at something that you want to define? Well, you can create your own channel groupings by either going to creating a new one or copying the basic channel grouping. I recommend copying the basic. So the first thing you want to do is change the name. And for this example, I'm going to look at Google Search versus Display. So I only need three labels, Google Search, Google Search Partners, and Display. So I'm just going to delete everything except for three. And now I'm ready to begin making my rules. So I'm gonna change paid advertising to be the Google search. So just change the name. And this is why I like to copy the basic because it already has the medium and the regular expression for the PPC in there. So I'm gonna copy the regular expression and use it for my other two rules. But since I also want this to just be looking at Google search, I'm gonna add an and statement. And I wanna look at the ad distribution network. Now if it wasn't at the top, you could also search for it and it'll pull it up in the search bar. So ad distribution network exactly matching Google search. And you can see here your other different options. You have content search partners, ad exchange, but the one I wanna look at is Google search. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. And then next you can pick a color. And I feel like red is good for Google search. So then save the rule and you're ready to create your next one. So organic, I'm gonna transform into the Google search partners. So first again, just change the label. And the medium for this one is set to organic, but I'm gonna change that to matching the regular expression. And again, you have other options here, but the one I want is the regular expression from the Google search. And I'm just gonna paste what I copied and then add my and statement. And for this, the distribution network has to exactly match search partners. And then I feel like purple would be a good color for Google search partners. So save the rule. And next, looking at social network. I wanted to keep this in there to show you something. If you click on edit, you can see there are a lot of conditions in here. And you can go through and delete all of them if you want to, but it's probably easier if you just delete this one and create your own rule. So closing out of this, just scroll back up, delete this one, and then you can add a new rule. And this is going to be my Google display. So again, I'm going to change this first condition to the medium. And I need it to match the regular expression, which I copied from before. Paste that in there. And then I need to add my and statement for the display network. And you can see in here, it's actually still called content. So select that. And then scroll down and pick your color. This one I feel like display should be blue. And then save your rule. So I have my three rules defined, Google Search, Google Search Partners, Google Display. But I also want to choose what to show if the rule does not apply. By default, it'll be set to other. But if you want to get more information on it, I like to set mine to source slash medium. Okay, so there is your custom channel for Google search versus display. And then just save your channel grouping. And now you can see that these labels are already showing up in the report. So if I scroll up to the top and I just want to look at AdWords, I can just tab over. And now I can look and see if there's a difference between assisted conversions and last interaction conversions across the Google Search, Google Search Partners, or Google Display. As you can see, it's pretty easy to create your own 
custom channel, and once you get a hang of it, there is a lot more you can do with it. So thank you for listening, and tune in next week. Thank you.